We learned late last night a man in Jacksonville, Duval County, one of 15 new coronavirus cases in the state. Florida Department of Health also reporting the first case in Clay County. Now, taking a look at the map, you can see there are now cases in Duval, Clay, St. John's, Nassau, and Alachua counties. There were no cases in Northeast Florida when we went on the air Monday morning. News for Jacksonville reporter Ashley Harding is joining us live. Ashley, what do we know about these two new cases in our area? And we've also learned that Mayor Lenny Curry is expected to make some decisions today. That's what he said in a series of tweets last night. Jen and Bruce, good morning to you both. Yes, right now city offices are still open and also right now events are not being mandated to shut down. But the mayor also wrote that he is very disappointed with how the Department of Health notified him and the public. Lenny Curry is not happy. Last night, the Jacksonville mayor took to Twitter, putting the Department of Health on blast. He wrote, quote, I told the public I would share the first in any coronavirus positive with them when Florida Department of Health shared it with me and my team. They did not. I am disappointed to have learned about the first test via the news. Transparency and communication is the way forward for our citizens. We must share what we know with the public. None of our city emergency professionals were advised of this positive. School is scheduled to go on as planned starting Monday after spring break, and the district is asking families to do these things. Keep your children home from school if they show signs of illness like fever, cough, or shortness of breath. Don't come to school if you travel to China, Iran, South Korea, or Europe. If your child's doctor has advised you to isolate them for a longer period of time, call your child's school to begin a home education plan. If you're returning from a cruise, monitor your health and limit your interactions with others for two weeks after returning to the U.S. The mayor also spoke about the possibility of what could happen if schools have to be closed this is what he told News for Jax. The other thing that has to be considered when you make these decisions, there's always a ripple effect. So in speaking to hospital leaders, uh, if and when you close schools, healthcare providers, doctors, nurses, practitioners are then home managing their children versus providing health care. So all of these decisions need to be made thoughtfully and the right decision needs to be made at the right time, not prematurely. Uh, these are judgment calls. And the school district also says it has ramped up its cleaning inside schools as well as school buses. Now student field trips with over 250 are being canceled and so is out-of-state travel by airplane. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.